All right, it's time for some experiments with touch-sensitive jello. So what we've got here is a uh, quantum touch uh, capacitance sensing chip. What this does is it uh, relies on the uh, small charge that every human being carries in their body to uh, detect when somebody touches an electrode, in this case uh, a green wire that's running into this input in the chip. And now the output of the chip is going to this wiring board. A wiring board is a uh, little uh, easily programmable processor that's uh, hooked up to uh, various inputs and outputs. And in this case, it's actually got a USB uh, cable running uh, back to my PC. And I've written a little processing application here that uh, reads input from the uh, wiring board and uh, responds. So now, in this case, our electrode is hooked up to uh, Jello. We've got two uh, specimens of Jello here. I believe this one is cherry and this one is strawberry with a little bit of milk. The milk sort of makes it nice and cloudy, and so eventually we'll be able to use that to get a good jellied brain effect. Now, if I just uh, go ahead here and touch the uh, strawberry jello, you can see that in fact strawberry jello does make a semi decent conductor. So now the uh, wire here is popped out, so I'm just going to go ahead and insert it right into the cherry jello. Oh, now, see, because I touched the wire, the sensor actually went off. Now, uh, that's kind of a problem, but we, uh, all we should have to do is use some shielded wire in order to get around that. So now I'm going to reinsert this into the cherry jello. And now the system is going to take a little while to calm down because it's, uh, yeah, so what happens is the system there was, uh, the, the, the chip actually automatically adjusts based on what kind of uh, electrode and what the composition of the electrode and the conductivity is. So um, it, after a little while it eventually resets back and goes back to a base state. So now here I can actually touch the cherry jello again. And we get another nice scream. Now, the really nice thing about this is, in fact, it even works with metal utensils. So, if I want to take a bite of this delicious jello, oh boy, listen to him screaming. So, in fact, we could actually have uh, an edible jello brain and have a whole bunch, uh, have a little uh, spoon for people to scoop out pieces of it and eat it. And the brain would scream every single time somebody did that. So, that's actually pretty much it. Um, we've uh, fortunately I've got a couple of these chips. In fact, I've got uh, a big one with about, I think it's uh, uh, six inputs and outputs. So we could actually uh, have a variety of uh, touch-sensitive things, whether they be edible or not. So that's pretty much it.